Mark Rome, who's a professor of government and public policy at Georgetown University. Uh, Mark, great to have you on set this time. Thanks for having me. So I'm curious. Some Trump supporters have been camped outside of that rally, I'm reading, for 35 hours. Are there any Democratic presidential candidates that are seeing that kind of support among voters? You know, it's hard to say any Democrats have quite the passion for their candidate that the Trump voters do for Trump, with the exception of, of Bernie Sanders. Uh, there is the, the feeling that seeing Bernie Sanders give a speech is kind of like a rock star, so people will fill up his auditoriums wherever he goes. Interesting. And can you sort of put this all into perspective for us. So post-Iowa caucuses, we have seen a lot of the contenders really go after Pete Buttigieg, Bernie Sanders. How are they attacking these candidates? And is it making a difference right now in terms of polling? So the Democratic candidates know that unless they get out of New Hampshire alive, then they're going to be done. So you have to attack the front runners. That's Senator Sanders. That's, that's Mayor Buttigieg. So Sanders... Too radical, unelectable, Buddha judge, too young, and perhaps too gay. Mm. Okay, socialism's been a big buzzword. Yes. That's something that Republicans use to to attack Democrats, and they like to use Venezuela a lot as an as an an example of where socialism has gone wrong. Um, we see Biden using that quite a bit attacking Bernie Sanders, saying that you're you're sort of labeling us all as socialists. But does that kind of hurt the party as a whole as well? I think it does. The Republican strategy, President Trump's strategy, is clearly to say the Democrats are too radical, that they are socialists, that are going to take over our business and take away our guns. This is a attack line that seems to be effective against the Democratic Party, and the Republicans will use the socialism slur every time they have the chance. So also another contender in all of this is uh, the former New York City mayor, Michael Bloomberg. Uh, he's sort of skipping Iowa and New Hampshire and taking on a different strategy. What is it? And do you think that that's working for him? So Mayor Bloomberg is not just sort of skipping Iowa and New Hampshire. He's just flat out skipping them. His hope is that there's a muddle after Iowa and New Hampshire. There's no clear front runner and that by spending $400 million or so on TV ads, he'll be able to break through on Super Tuesday. And that is not an unreasonable strategy. That may pay off for the mayor. Great. Mark Rome, great to have you with us. Really appreciate it.